Great, so now we're going to look at place. So the first thing we need to do is take the head off. So I'm going to use this line as a guide, and then I'm going to angle back here. So I'm picking the head up, coming along, and I'm going to angle back along here. If you put one leg back, make a noise like Mr. Miyagi, then you'll, you'll win. And then we're going to fill it. So the tail's away from me, and there's a line here you can see on the fish. There's a line on both sides. That's the center of the backbone, and essentially, the structure of this is like a bookshelf, so it's flat bones and then a little ridge in the middle. And our job is to get this knife with the back of it along on the bone but abutting the ridge and then we're going to come out. And then we're going to repeat the same on all the other sides and we should end up with two nice fillets. So we come in, I'm along this line, I'm flexing this blade, that's important in this, so I'm flexing the blade. I'm in and then I come out. Then I'm going to do it again, I'm going to come in and I'm going to come out. So now I've got a fillet like that. Now I'm gonna come across, three quarters of the way down, and push my blade all the way to the end. Again, around 3% down, nice broad strokes. So I've released the fillet. I'm gonna turn it around to face me this time. You can see now, if you feel with your finger, there's a ridge here. So my job this time is to come up the other side of the ridge and out. So I'm following this line, same line. I'm on top of the bone, and I'm out. Same again, and out. So I've got the fillet, it's attached in the middle. If I just run my knife up through that, that's one fillet off the fish. Okay, we'll come back to that, trim that up in a minute. Turn the fish over, again, the same line. I'm gonna go on the left-hand side now. There we go. Out, and then one more time in, all the way, and out. And then I'm gonna come through here, the knife's away from me, slightly pointing down all the way to the end, turn the fish round, come up the other side of the bookshelf, make sure you're on top of the bone, not under it, lift up the two sides, you can see I've attached in the middle still, but I've taken all the flesh off there, I'm just going to run that blade all the way up. That's it. Now what you don't want to do is trim off here because that's what we just saved all the effort for. But if you spread them out like that, just take the edges off. And the same again here. Take the edges off. This is the old row sack here. So you can just pull that out with your fingers. A little bit of bone. I'm just going to get rid of that. And then we've just got a rib cage. They do have small rib cages. Just here, you can fill it with your fingers. So again, scallop it out, that's one done. And the same again over here, little row sack, scrape that out. There, neaten up. And then here, little rib cage, decisively down. Scallop out, that's done. You've got two nice fillets, they're ready to go lay those out so you can see them. So the first thing you can do, if you want to cook these whole, slash them three times, rub butter and salt and pepper over them, and put them in a hot oven on a hot baking tray. Around 220 degrees, gas mark nine, 10 minutes, you'll have a beautiful fish. Again, place fillets, pan fry, very nice, skin side down, three minutes turnover for the last minute. Very good fish, very underrated, and uh, enjoy. Um, generally, we're, we're in February now. I wouldn't normally buy a place this time of the year. They're just coming out of row, so they put all their effort into reproduction. There's not a lot of meat on them. The best time of year to buy a place, which is a very underrated fish in the UK, is probably September or October. They're nice and fat. So it's flat fish. They're all gutted at sea. You can see there's a pocket there. If it hasn't got that pocket, it hasn't been gutted at sea. I hope you liked what you've seen today. If you'd like to order fish online, please check us out at lovefishshop.com.